An incredible show of incompetence. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. I have covered an awful lot of politicians over the years that weren't quite ready for prime time, but none quite as ill-prepared as Marianne Miachuk. She is Justin Trudeau's Minister of Labor, and she's showing time and again that she doesn't have a clue about the file that she's working on. You'll recall the day she introduced Bill C-4, the one to repeal the Union Financial Transparency Act and the, the one to repeal the secret ballot for federally regulated workers looking to certify or decertify a union, I asked her about secret ballot, whether she'd give it up. And her claim, uh, her bill had nothing to do with secret ballots. There is no discussion about secret ballots or no secret ballots. The point here is these two bills had a, resulted in an unfair playing field for the labor movement. Well, thankfully, she's learned a little bit about the legislation she's pushing, but she's still delusional. At committee, she actually said it was more democratic not to have a secret ballot, but to have a well, kind of a show of hands, a card check system. It's, it's more democratic. You won't believe why she says that. The card check system is a perfectly democratic way of gauging support as it ensures that an absolute majority of employees support the union not just those who come out and vote. Somehow, I don't think that Ms. Miachuk would, would view that as an acceptable way to put her in or out of office, going around and talking to those people who didn't bother to show up and vote, that they should have a say. Great, let's get you out of office. But no, she's not going to back that up, is she? Asked by Conservative MP Bob Zimmer about union corruption, you won't believe her answer. Why would you immediately reverse such legislation that uh, in encourages accountability. Unions are uh, one of the most democratic institutions that I know of. That's right. Asked about corruption, Minister Miachuk goes into a, a spiel about democratic accountability, that unions are democratic as she is taking away a democratic lever for workers, the secret ballot. This woman she has no shame and she has no clue. But later, she really proves how clueless she is. Check out this exchange. Again, Zimmer asking her about union corruption, and she has no clue what the Charbonneau Commission was. My question to you is, do you support accountability or corruption? Suggesting that unions in Canada are corrupt, I recommend that he name them. What about the Charbonneau Commission? What's more incredible is that just last week, seven politicians or former political staffers were arrested as a result of information that came about due to the Charbonneau Commission, the what, year, year and a half long commission they held in Quebec where they looked at the Corruption between politicians, bureaucrats, the mob, and yes, unions. This is the one that was daily news across the country. Maybe it was mostly covered in Quebec, but when you've got stories about unions paying for the Hells Angels to rebuild their strip club using union funds, when you've got union bosses turning on each other to talk about the corruption and mob influence in unions, maybe you want to know that as labor minister especially when you're repealing a financial transparency bill. Marianne Miachuk has shown that she is incompetent, she has shown that she is incapable, and she has shown that she needs to resign or be fired. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.